Good day everyone. Welcome back to our home economics online class. So we are now in module 2, quarter 1, week 2, and week 3, dress making in. So I am Miss Mary Ann Fonte. Our module 2 is all about taking body measurement. So paano nga ba kumuha ng sukat sa katawan? What measuring tools are we going to use in taking body measurement? Okay, so of course, we will use a tape measure. Goals. After you finish this lesson, you must be able to first apply the system of measurement, second, read the tape measure, three, take body measurement accurately. Lesson 1, apply the system of measurement. Before we proceed to our new lesson this morning, let's have a pretest. First, let's answer the following question. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number 1, 1 half inch is equivalent to how many centimeter? 1 half inch is equivalent to how many centimeter? Is it A, 1.27, B, 2.27, C, 3.37? So, the correct answer is letter A. Next, number 2. 1 yard is equivalent to how many meter? 1 yard is equivalent to how many meter? Is it A, 2.91, B, 3.28, C, 0 0.91? The correct answer is 0 0.91. 1 yard is equivalent to 0 0.91 meter or 0 0.9144. Next, number 3. 5 inches is equivalent to how many centimeter? 5 inches is equivalent to how many centimeter? We, al we already know that in 1 half inch, we have 1.27. So the given here in number 3 is 5 inches. So what is the answer? Is it 10.7, 10, 10. B, 12.7, C, 11.7? So the answer is 12.7. Next, number four, in English system, what are the units used? In English system, what are the units used? Is it A, kilometer and meter, B, inches, feet and yards, C, gallons and pint? So the correct answer is letter B. In English system, the unit used is or are inches, feet and yards. Number five, in metric system, what are the units used. In metric system, what are the unit used? Is it A, centimeter and meter, B, kilometer and meter, C, inches and feet? The correct answer is letter A, centimeter and meter. Next, number six. How many centimeters in one inch? How many centimeters in one inch? Is it A, 1.54, B, 1.56, C, 2.54. So the answer is letter C, 2.54. In 1 inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. Next, number 7. Place the end tape measure and shoulder tip passing the nape across the other shoulder tip. Place the end of tape measure and shoulder tip passing the nape across the other shoulder tip. Is it A, shoulder, B, waist, C, waist? The correct answer is shoulder. Number 8. The blank measurement is taken from the left of the figure to the right. The blank measurement is taken from the left of the figure to the right. Is it A, vertical? B. Horizontal. C. Diagonal. So the correct answer is horizontal. Left of the figure to the right. Next, number 9. The blank measurement is taken from the top of the body figure to its base. The blank measurement is taken from the top of the body figure to its base. Is it A. Vertical? B. Diagonal. C. Horizontal. The correct answer is letter A. Vertical measurement. Next, then, 10. Place the tape measure around the fullest part of the waist. Place the tape measure around the fullest part of the waist. A. Hip. B. Chest. 
D. Waste. So the correct answer is letter D. Waste. Simple calculation is an easy mathematical application used to determine the accurate measurement of body parts, length, and width of materials and cost needed to create apparel. This is the process in which the four fundamentals of operations, or IMDAS, is involved. IMDAS stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Length and width of materials. In measuring the length and width of materials needed, such as fabrics, we also need the use of the metric measurement system. Here is the metric conversion chart for fabric and sewing. One fourth inch is equivalent to 0 0.25 centimeters. One half inch is equivalent to 1.27 centimeters. 5 over 8 inch is equivalent to 1.59 cm. 3 fourth inch is equivalent to 1.905 cm. And in 1 inch, we have 2.54 cm. In 1 inch, we have 2.54 cm. And so on and so forth. And in 1 yard, we have 0.9144 meters. In 1 yard, we have 0.9144 meters. In 2 yards, we have to multiply 0.9144 to times 2 to get the meters. 1.8288 meters. Okay, let's have an example. Let's try to convert inches to centimeter and centimeter to inches. Number one example, how many inches are there in 100 centimeters width of fabric? How many inches are there in 100 centimeters width of fabric? So the given in the problem is 100 centimeters width of fabric. So we all know that in one inch, we have 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so what formula are we going to use to get the inches? So we have to divide the given, divided by 2.54, which is equivalent to 1 inch. So 100 centimeter divided by 2.54 is equal to 39.37 inches. So that is the answer, 39.37 inches. Okay, another example number two, how many centimeters are there in 60 inches length of fabric? How many centimeters are there in 60 inches length of fabric? So the given in the problem is 60 inches length of fabric. And let us always remember 1 inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. So what operation are we going to use to get the centimeter? Okay, so kung ang hinahanap po ay centimeter at ang given po natin is inches, so we have to multiply the given times 2.54 centimeters. So 60 inches, which is the given the problem, times 2.54 is equivalent to 152.4. So the answer is 152.4 centimeters. Okay, let us convert the following measurement. 1. 5 inches equivalent to how many centimeters? 5 inches is equivalent to how many centimeters? So, ano po ang gagawin natin? Ang hinahanap yun centimeter. So, we all know that in 1 inch is equivalent to 2.54. So, what we are going to do here is we have to multiply the given times 2.54. So, 5 times 2.54 is equal to 12.7. So, the answer here in number 1 is 12.7. So, 5 inches is equivalent to 12.7 centimeter. Number 2, 7.5 inches centimeter is equivalent to to how many centimeter? 7.5 inches is equivalent to how many centimeter? So the answer is 19.05. Number three, four yards is equal to how many meter? Four yards is equal to how many meter? 
So, we all know that in one yard, we have 0 0.9144. So, what we are going to do here is we have to multiply the given, which is the 4 yards times 0 0.9144. So, 4 times 0 0.914 is equal to 3.6576. Next, number 4. 3.6576. 76 meter is equivalent to how many yards? So, ang hinahanap naman dito is we have to convert meter to yards. So, what are we going to do here? So, we have to divide. So, 3.6576 divided by 0 0.9144 is equivalent to 4 yards. So, meaning to say 3.6576 meter is equal to 4 yards. Another one, 8.2296 is equal to how many yards? 8.2296 is equal to how many yards? So we have to divide 8.2296 divided by 0 0.9144. So the answer is 9. So 8.2296 uh, meter is equal to 9 yards. Okay, tip. Reverse the calculations by multiplying inches by 2.54 to calculate centimeters and yards by 0 0.9144 to determine the number of meters. Okay, let us now proceed to the lesson 2, which is reading the tape measure. When it comes to construction and craftsmanship, taking accurate measurements can be the difference between a great finished product and a software one. Luckily, with the proper approach, using a tape measure can be a quick, easy way to get you the information you need about your project. Knowing how to use and read both a retractable measure and a traditional ribbon style tape measure can be a major asset to anyone working with his or her hands. So learn today and start measuring. There are two systems of measurement. The first one is the metric system. Metric system is used in most countries. Length and distance are measured in millimeters, centimeters, and meters. The second one is the English or Imperial. It is a system that dates back to the Middle Ages and named after the British Empire. Length is measured in inches, feet, and yards. It is still used throughout the UK, USA, and Canada. So remember the two system of measurement. The first one is the metric, which is uh, the unit used are the millimeters, centimeters, and meters. The second one is the English or imperial, which is used <clears throat> in inches, feet, and yards. Okay, so this is an example of metric system. We use the millimeter, which is the small line, and the centimeter. In the upper of the tape measure is the English system, which is the inches and the feet. So this is an example of English system. Okay, how to read the sewing tape measure in inches. So this is an example of one inch in a word ruler. It says here that the markings on it are applied with the main divisions with an interval of 1 inch and intermediate 1 over 8 or 1 16 inch. An inch is divided into 2, 2, 4, 8, 16 equal parts so the, so the measurement in inches is something like 2, 3 over 8 or 5 over 3 over 16 and the decimal point doesn't make real sense for inches. So, paano nga ba magbasa nitong inches na ito? So, yung unang line na mahaba, ang basa po dyan is 0. So, sa maliit naman, 
1 over 16. So, bakit kaya siya naging 1 over 16? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating mga line na ito is composed of 16 lines. So, simula dito sa maliit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, bago po tayo makabuo ng isang inch, we have 16 lines. So, the first line is, we read, this as 1 over 16. So, bakit kaya siya naging 1 over 16? 1 over 16, kasi nga, una siyang line out of 16 lines. So, 1 over 16. The second line is 2 over 16, kasi nga, pangalawa siyang line out of 16 lines. So, bakit siya naging 1 over 8 kung pangalawa siya 2 over 16 dapat? So, naging 1 over 8 kasi nga yung 2 over 16, eh, pwede po natin siyang ma-divide. Pwede po natin siyang mahati. So, 2 over 16 divided by 2 is equal to 1 over 8. Next, line is, the third line, 3 over 16. So, bakit po siya naging 3 over 16? Hindi po siya nagbago. Kasi nga, hindi naman po na natin siya ma ay, mahati itong 3 over 16. Then, the next line is this one, the long line. So, 4 over 16 po dapat ito kasi nga pangapat po siya na line. Pero, dinibayad po natin siya sa 4. So, naging uh, 1 over 4. And then, so on and so forth, 5 over 16, 3 over 8. So, ito dapat ay 6 over 16, pero hinati po natin. So, naging 3 over 8. And then, the, sec the seventh line is 7 over 16. So, hindi po siya magbabago, kaya hindi, hindi na po siya mahahati. Then, the eighth line, so ito po yung pinakamahaba na rin po siya. So, dito po, ang basa po natin dito is 1 half. So, 8 Kung hindi po natin siya na lowest term, so yan po is 8 over 16. So, naging 1 half kasi nga hinati. Then, 9 over 16, 5 over 8, 11 over 16, 3 fourth, 13 over 16, and then 7 over 8, then 15 over 16. At doon na po tayo magkakaroon ng 1 inch. Kasi po ito ay 16 over 16. So, 16 divided by 16 is equal to 1 inch. So, ito na po ang ating 1 inch. And then, sunod-sunod na po yan. So, 1 over 1, 16. 1 over 1, 8. And then, sunod-sunod na po ito. Hanggang makabuo po tayo ng 10 inches, 12 inches. How to read a tape measure in millimeters? The markings on it are applied with the main divisions with an interval of 1 cm and intermediate 1 mm. A centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts. Millimeters and 1 can express fractions with a decimal point 2.3 cm, 2 cm, 3 mm, or 23 mm. Okay, so this is an example of ruler that has a unit of centimeter and millimeter. So, always remember that in 1 centimeter, we have 10 millimeter. So, ito po, 0 to 1. So, ito po yung ating centimeter. At saka, sa isang centimeter, meron tayong 10 A tape measure is used primarily for taking body measurements, as well as for drafting patterns, measuring fabric, laying out patterns on fabric, specifying the length of a garment, checking the size of hems, measuring curves in corners, measuring curtains, kilts, and much more. It's simply necessary for a seamstress to have a measuring tape at hand. Better yet, several tapes of different colors at once. Okay, let's move on to lesson 3, taking body measurement. Taking body measurement, parts of the body to be measured can be taken in 
phased horizontal measurement, vertical measurement, circumferential measurement. So the horizontal measurement is taken from the left of the figure to the right. The vertical measurement is taken from the top of the body to figure to its base. So, kagaya po na inyo po nakikita, simula po sa taas po ba? So, that is an example of vertical measurement. Number three is the circumferential measurement is taken around the body. Okay, before we proceed, let us first have an activity. Identify what part of the body is being measured. The first picture is, what do you think is this? So that is, okay, very good, full body's length. And that is, what what measurement is full body's length is? So that is, a, yes, vertical measurement. Next picture, so that is, yes, very good, waist. The waist is an example of circumferential measurement then the third one is that is a hips so hips is also a circumferential measurement and then the next picture is the chest so chest is also an example of circumferential measurement Okay, next picture, what do you think? What part of the body is being measured? Okay, that is a bust distance. Next picture is, yes, that is bust height. So, bust height is an example of vertical measurement. Then, the next picture, okay, that is shoulder. So, shoulder is an example of horizontal measurement. Okay, next picture is bust. Then, the next, what do you think is this? From the knee down to the desired length, so what part of the body? Yes, that is the length of shirt. Next picture, that is the length of sleeve, yes. Then, the last one is we have the short sleeve circumference good, and that is an example of circumferential measurement. Okay, let's move on. Figure in how to take body measurement, and then the body measurement for men's and ladies' apparel. The first one is the shoulder. When measuring the shoulder, you have to place the end of tip measure on the shoulder tip. Passing the nape across the other shoulder tip. Like, for example, this one. From shoulder tip, passing to the nape across the other shoulder. The next one is the length of shirt. When measuring length of shirt, you have to measure from the nape down to the desired length. Nape down to the desired length. Number three is the bust. When measuring bust, measure the fullest part of the bust or the chest, inserting two fingers in it. So you have to insert your two fingers to have a allowance. Then, number four is the waist. When measuring waist, place the tape measure around the fullest part of the waist. Around the fullest part of the waist. Number five is the hip. Place the tape measure in line and around the fullest part of the hips. So this is the hips. So we have to place the nape tape measure in line and around the fullest part of these hips. Number six is the chest. From the shoulder point, measure four inches downward. Put the tape measure around the chest. From the shoulder point, measure 4 inches downward. Then, put the tape measure around the chest. So, like for example, this one. So, 
number C, so this one starting here to the shoulder point down four measure four inches, and then you have to uh, put the tape measure around the chest. Number seven is the bust height. Measure from the shoulder base neck to the bust point. Measure from the shoulder base neck to the bust point. So bust height number seven starting here at your shoulder base neck and then here at the bust point. So that is the bust height. Number eight is the bust distance. Measure from the one bust point to another bust point so number eight bust distance <clears throat> starting here from one bust point to another bust point so that is a bust distance number nine length of sleeve measure from shoulder tip point to the desired length now with 10, shirt sleeve circumference girth. So from the measured short sleeve length, place the tape measure around the arms with the desired circumference. So this is the number 10. So you have to uh, place the tape measure around the arms with the desired circumference. Then next, number 11 is the full body length. So, measure from the shoulder base neck to the waistline. Full body length, measure from the shoulder base neck to the waistline. So, number 11, the full body length. So, from shoulder uh, base neck up to here to your waistline. So, that is the full body length. Okay, points to remember in taking body measurement. So first, ask the client politely to stand straight while taking body measurement. While taking measurements, wearing a well-fitted garment, remove extra bulk packets like wallet, cell phone, and hanky. The second one is use a soft, flexible type of deep measure so it will be flat in the part to be measured. So work in pairs. Number three, tie a string on the exact waistline as a point of reference while taking measurements. Number four, start with either horizontal or vertical measurements. Number five, when measuring length, let the tape measure hung freely or for more accurate measurements. Okay, that's all for module 2, taking body measurement. I hope you learned something about our lesson. Thank you and God bless everyone. Keep safe.